On behalf of the Rajinder Bhavan Trust, I have the privilege and the pleasure to welcome the Honorable President of India, Shri Pranab Mukherjee Ji, Dr. Karan Singh, Chairman, Indian Council of Cultural Affairs, Srimati Meera Kumar, former Speaker of the Lok Sabha, Srimati Apara Yadav, wife of late Sri D.P. Yadav, other esteemed guests and family members of late Sri D.P. Yadav, on the occasion of the book release titled Mungate Through the Ages, authored by Sri D.P. Yadav. So, Sri D.P. Yadav Ji ki anpasik mein, unki pustak Mungate Through the Ages, ki lokar pan ke osar par unse juri tamam ismati aur taji ho gai hain. Ifko se unka gehra lagao tha, vi December 1995 se, जनवरी 1997 के दौरान इफ्को के अध्यक्ष रहे वे वर्ष 2003 से इफ्को फाउंडेशन के ट्रस्टी भी रहे और समय से पहले पर उन्होंने इसकी अध्यक्षता भी की श्री यादव जी सादगी एवं बुद्धिमत्ता के प्रतीक थे उनके कार्यकाल में इफ्को ने कई कीर्तिमान स्थापित किए श्रीमती इंदिरा गांधी के मंत्रिमंडल में रहते हुए उन्होंने लैब टू लैंड परियोजना शुरू कराई जो काफी सराही गई उनके कार्यकाल में ही आंवला दो की विस्तार परियोजना के तहत वाणिज्य उत्पादन शुरू हुआ यह कार्य निर्धारित समय पर और निर्धारित लागत में पूरा किया गया द बुक बिगिंस बाय ट्रेसिंग द सिग्निफिकेंस एंड पोजीशन ऑफ मुंगेर फ्रॉम द टाइम ऑफ फर्स्ट आर्यन सेटलर्स टू द एरा ऑफ ग्लोरियस मगध एम्पायर डिटेल्स लिंकिंग की हिस्टोरिकल इवेंट्स इन बिहार एंड बंगाल during the rule of Mir Qasim, their relation to the subsequent British rule provide a noble insight into the role Munger played during the turbulent times of the Raj in eastern India. To the famed Munger fort, its rise to prominence during the conflict between Qasim and the East India Company and its enduring legacy is dedicated an entire chapter. A compilation of letters, newspaper articles, and personal accounts about the earthquake of 1934, which almost destroyed the district, contains communication from Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru and Dr. Rajendra Prasad, among others, highlighting the plight of the people during this dire calamity. The demographic details from two different eras, namely the early 1900s, and the 1960s provide a glimpse of the shift in the religious, cultural, racial, lingual, and economic parameters that took place over half a century. हमारे देश में हर एक जिले का अपना अपना इतिहास होता है। हमारा देश ही इतना प्राचीन है, हमारी संस्कृति इतनी विभिन्न है कि हर एक जिले का अपना इतिहास होता है, अपने उनके किम बदंतियां होती हैं, अपने प्राचीनतम यादगारें होती हैं, अपने धर्म स्थान होते हैं, अपने कार्य स्थान होते हैं, तो हर एक जिले में बहुत जानकारी होती है, लेकिन वो जानकारी लोगों तक पहुंचती नहीं है, केवल वहाँ के रहने वाले लोग जानते हैं, बाकी देश नहीं जानता। तो अंग्रेजों के जमाने में गैजेटियर जो अपने क्षेत्र और वो गैजेटियर्स आज भी उनके मुकाबले के गैजेटियर्स हमें मिलते नहीं हैं क्योंकि बड़े लगन से वो लिखा करते थे तो ये पुस्तक जो मंगेर के बारे में निकली है ये एक उसी तरीके से गैजेटियर की तरह है इसमें मंगेर के अलग-अलग आयाम जो हैं अलग-अलग भूगोल जो है जो प्रश्न हैं जो समस्याएं हैं जो उपलब्धियां हैं वो सब हमारे सामने डीपी ने रखी है It's indeed a privilege for me to be associated with this program where a book written by my old dear friend of many years is being released by Dr. Karun Singh. 
it was equally sad to me because I did not expect the demise of DP. He was younger in age to me and he was quite healthy, hard working. So it was really a great shock to me. As Dr. Saab has mentioned to you, that in 1971 election, he was one of the giant killers. He defeated Mr. Mothu Dimaye, a great socialist leader in Munger constituency as a young professor of university. And Mrs. Gandhi recognized his merit and appointed him immediately as a junior minister in the Ministry of Education in her cabinet. Sometimes later I had the privilege of working with him also in the cabinet. But many more years we have spent together when he was member of the Congress Working Committee, he was member of parliament and he was a great contributor to India's economy, especially agrarian economy. I do not know whether many people are aware of the fact that many a times he used to bring out small pamphlets on specific issues, expressed his views and sent them for elicited public opinion to universities, to the schools, to bar libraries, to various other organizations, public libraries. And he did all these things without any, expecting any recognition for his work, but he thought that people should know. Honorable President, distinguished eminence, the publication and launch of this book would not have been possible but for the unwavering support of the many people who were involved in this beautiful and unique journey of my late grandfather. That this function is being held at the Rashtrapati Bhavan in the presence of the President himself is an inspiration to the people of Munger and Bihar. I, on behalf of my grandmother Srimati Apra Yadav and our entire family, extend our heartfelt gratitude to the Honorable Rashtrapati Ji. We are greatly indebted to Dr. Karan Singh Ji for gracing this occasion and extending his unbounded support to what has surely been a collective and collaborative endeavor. Late Swami Satyanand of Bihar School of Yoga, Munger, deserves special recognition as he served as an inspiration for this book.